Hello, the Beery Traveler here coming at you from Ironmonger Brewing Company just north of Atlanta. I'm going to show you why this is a great stop, whether you're on the road traveling or just a local looking for a fun spot to hang out at. So the first thing to do, obviously, when you go to a brewery is to grab yourself a beer. So I asked Steven what some of his favorites are. My favorites is, you have feelings, fill it. So there was definitely a lot of talk about you have feelings. Most people think I don't. Never promoted it. There's no cans. You can't buy anywhere but here. You made a great choice of something about it. You're in the third batch of it since then. It was designed to be a one batch limited and will keep changing, but you don't get rid of your number one slang beer. Yeah. I sat down with the owners, Tom Larson and Doug Bippard, to find out a little bit more about the Ironmonger experience. It all starts with beer. When you come in, we try to have beer for everybody, but we never lose sight of the, of the craft beer people because that is a hard one. Your strategy to us is very important. As cute as all the axe throwing is and other things we're doing to make Ironmonger truly a destination, kind of a catchphrase of the Ironmonger experience. Lights is, is amazing to us, and I didn't know this at the time, but when you have a diverse portfolio, flights become the number one go-to. So we actually have a flight night, uh, Throwback Thursdays, and it's designed to do flights. So we want people to try the different beers. The idea being is you try your four ounce or six ounce flight of fours, and then you transform until you'll take a pint of X. Our to-go beers, we keep a variety of generally six to-go beers, and then you can go crawl over everything. We like people to take beer to go, and why do we want beer to go? We'd rather have a six pack than a crawler. Why? Because we want people to share our beer. And I'm drinking the Rugby ATL Lager. So when Tom mentioned that lager, I definitely had to ask more about the connection between Ironmonger and Rugby ATL. So Atlanta is bringing in its first professional rugby team, and they're going to be playing at Atlanta University, which is less than two miles from here. And we got a special beer for them, Rugby ATL. It's a Vienna lager, and this is a great beer. It's got a 5.6 ABV, because rugby ties to Ironmonger, like axe throwing ties to Ironmonger, like bike and alchemist ties to Ironmonger. It really galvanizes who we are, and it really culminates this whole thing of the Ironmonger experience, because picture 37, you know, rugby players going to axes, you know, and drinking beer. Ay, ay, ay. I asked Doug to show me a little bit more about this axe throwing, and the other things they have available at Ironmonger. Nice. Uh, so what's the trick? What you want to do is, is, is have it go to the top and then turn back down. You have to turn it around a This? Yeah. Just push it a little bit to the Don't worry, I got him acing it on the first shot. Yeah. I asked the guys if they had any other ideas that would help draw people in. Music's gonna be one of those. So we've got a we've got a stage uh, built. It's, 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 it's a full size. Right it's a five six person raise for the drummer. That's the lovely. Love to do a full different. proper concert series. You yeah. kind of lay out six months, six every month. Have a new someone come through. First of the month, we know we have someone. So as you can see, there's a lot going on at Ironmonger right now, and much more coming in the future. So if your road trip takes you through Atlanta or you live here in town, Ironmonger is definitely worth a visit. So until next time, I'm the Beery Traveler. I'll have plenty of destinations coming to you in the future, so if you like what you see, hit subscribe. And always remember to know your limits, drive safe, and arrive alive. Cheers, everyone.